Finally got the 1985 Autobot and Decepticon line here. We're going to start with Autobots first, of course. Just Decepticons will follow shortly after that, but I just wanted to mention that this, this line took me an awfully long time to get. This line took me about 11 years from start to finish. I mean, this, this is what started it all for me. And uh, I'm really proud of that. And um, everything you see is no reissues, no remakes, no knockoff, no nothing. Everything from packaging to accessories and figures is all original, by the way. So we're going to start off right now, and we're going to go with 1985 Autobots. So let's get started. Okay, so you might be asking yourself, why the hell did he start out with Sea Spray? Well, no reason really, just because he was there. So <laughs> we're going to start with Sea Spray. Nice, decent card, a little bit of warping, but um, it's pretty tough to find one that's completely flat. And we get a price tag here of $3.99. Super, from Super... I don't know what the hell X, maybe a grocery store or something. Mm, kind of interesting to know what the hell it is. But anyways, I see spray. Uh, by the way, he's got a nice. Um, there was a nice uh, episode called Sea Change in the G1 cartoon that was pretty cool. You might want to check it out if you want to see more on Sea Spray. Then we're gonna r run over to Perceptor. I remember getting this guy like eight years ago, probably. Decent box. I opened this guy up, and I, actually they're going to be reissuing this guy very soon at Toys R Us. Um, the Toys R Us one, though, won't magnify 14 times right there. I guess it's not going to magnify at all, which kind of sucks. But maybe they're pissed off or scared that kids are going to light their houses on fire with this little microscope lens, or maybe light ants on fire, which is pretty crazy, but I've done that. Um, and then we're going to go over to the big guy. Now this guy is one of my all-time favorite Transformers, Omega Supreme. They reissued this guy a while back. Um, this is the original one, though, of course. But um, he's got a. This guy was very expensive to buy um, back in the day. Check out this price tag I got here: thirty-nine ninety-nine at Long's. Long's is a drugstore that's near my house. I think it might only be on the West Coast. I'm not too sure. But um, if he's on the East Coast, somebody let me know, please. I just I don't know why. I'm just curious. But um, he's got an unused sticker sheet, and he's in great shape. The box is a little bit jacked, but that's okay. But he was one of my favorite characters. I got him, well, this one, like five or six years ago, like I said, or something. And anyways, we're going to go on to another fan favorite, Jetfire. This guy's nice. And the interesting thing about this guy is I got this specific Jetfire and uh, one of my Pepsi Optimus Primes from a person that worked at Pepsi. Um, the Prime was only available in a contest that you could win and I have the can there if you haven't seen the can yet um, check out my 1984 video of the Autobots but um, Jetfire I guess they just gave him away to people that worked at Pepsi or at least some factories or something because this is one of the ones I got. A girl I got this from worked at Pepsi I don't know which state she lived in though I can't remember but anyways you, he was also available of course on in retail you could find him in stores probably for I think around twenty five dollars but this guy's a real nice piece I'm really happy with him he was sealed but the tape kinda yellowed on one side so I just said screw it I just I opened up the side and opened him up and transformed I think like maybe three times in his entire life so um there's my jet fire right there I'm really happy with him I got a good deal on him too by the way I'm not gonna tell you how much but it was a very very nice com considering how much he goes for on eBay right now so <laughs> All right, we're gonna go do some more uh, mini bots. We got Power Glide here, one of my favorite characters. A little bit arrogant in the cartoon, but in like kind of a show off. But he was pretty cool. I liked him a lot. And here's the one I got in '85 sometime. Can't remember if it's my birthday, Christmas, whatever. Maybe for no reason, Easter, maybe even I don't know. But I got one sealed right there, and I got the one I've always had since I was ten. And then we're going to go to Beachcomber. Beachcomber's in a nice card. We got a um, price tag of Toys R Us, $2.97. Now that's a good deal. Three bucks. How'd you like to find a Beachcomber for three bucks? This guy was knocked off heavily like a couple years ago on eBay, I remember. Lots of knockoffs of this guy. And then we're going to go to Cosmos. 
right here. He's got the little iron-on patch right there with the, um, well, an iron-on patch. It's pretty cool. Got a loose one, by the way. And then we're going to go to Warpath. He was a cool character, by the way. KB Toys price tag of $4.39. That's not too bad. KB's is always more than Toys R Us. No wonder they went out of business. What a joke. And then we're going to go on to Blaster. This guy got it maybe like two or three years ago. Pretty decent box, except he's got that flap crease. You can see it leaning back there, which stinks. I like the artwork, by the way. He's kind of got that weird... <laughs> what the hell you call that? <laughs> like Crazy fingers thing going. And then we're going to go to his cassettes right here. He's a very nice sealed on card. We've got Ramhorn and Eject. Silver weapons on those guys. Then we're going to go to... i got another Beachcomber. Really horrible looking one. It's a reflective iron patch. Prizes in Disguise version. And he's got a Kmart price tag of... Holy shit. $8.14? Good God. God, eight dollars and fourteen cents for this guy. No wonder Kmart sucks. They charged okay, eight dollars right there. Two where is he? Two ninety seven. Okay. You're gonna go to Kmart and pay double, almost triple what when a Toys R Us sells for. That's just insane. Screw you, Kmart. No wonder you suck. Okay, anyways, I couldn't believe that. I never even looked at it before. Well, there's Beachcomber, the second version. Okay, now we're going to go to his other cassettes, Blasters, by the way. Sorry for kind of rambling on here, but... $6.69. Now that's a good deal, folks, right there. $6.69. I paid a hell of a lot more for these guys, but they've been open, but... That's a damn good deal. And where's the store at? I can't even tell. Osco? Don't know what the hell that is. Okay, anyways, well that is part one, part two is coming up. I can't fill this on in 10 minutes, it's just too too much, so um, part two will be up. Check it out.